What you guys got another video here for you on how to clean a dirty gaming computer. Now, why would you want to clean a dirty computer? Well, if you leave the dust and dirt build up inside the computer, temperatures will start to soar and it can harm and damage your PC hardware. Now, this is a PC here. You can see the temperatures already are at 89.3 when running Cinebench R23 here. So you can see it's pretty bad. Uh, when you run these and it's just down to a lot of dust buildup and probably the thermal compound is starting to dry up now normally dust will build up over time and if you've got the computer sitting on the floor it's going to suck up all of the dirt and fluff from the carpet into the computer and this is a common problem i see this quite a lot nowadays because of the amount of fans that people have in pcs and it just generates so much more dust in a pc We've got mesh fronted PCs nowadays, which can cause also a lot of dust buildup. And once you start getting into temperatures like you can see here on this CPU now, we're getting into the 90s, which is quite worrying. Uh, the maximum temperature for a CPU like this is uh, 95 Celsius, and it's got to 90.8 Celsius. And uh, that's pretty worrying. So we're going to be taking a look at what's causing uh, this problem and... Uh, I'll show you what the PC looks like. So you can see here, this is the condition of the PC. It's full of fluff and full of dirt and dust. And basically that needs to be cleaned out because heat can't dissipate through dust. And this can cause high temperatures as well, especially around the CPU. Now it's not that bad uh, at the moment. It's not as bad as I've seen uh, computers getting, especially when they're sitting on the floor. I've seen them a lot worse than this. And it could be a compound issue or even uh, the actual heatsink might not be performing as well as it should. So I'm going to give this a good thorough clean. You can see around the blades of the actual CPU cooler there, it's quite nasty and grim. And uh, a good blowout will do this good. On top here, you can see this has been wiped away before. There was obviously dust build up around the filter system here. They've just wiped it off. But really, what it does need is a really good clean. And I'll show you how we're going to do this. Now, the best way I've found over the years to remove dust, and you can see the amount of dust coming out of here, is one of these little blowers. You can buy these pretty much anywhere on the internet, Amazon. I'll leave the link for the one I'm using here in the video description. It will remove any sort of dust buildup inside the CPU corner, inside the fans, and anywhere else like radiators or anything like that. If you're worried about the fans spinning up too fast, you can tape them or hold them while you're using it. Again, it's entirely up to you what you do with yours, but pretty much it will remove all of the dust in every little nook and cranny you can think of. There might be a little bit of surface dust left, which you can use uh, a cloth to clean, and I'll show you basically how you can go about doing that. But you can see here, it's done a pretty good job at removing all of the dust buildup around those uh, fins here. I've not used any cotton buds or any alcohol or anything like that. And this will save you heaps of time when it comes to cleaning your PC. If you're having to strip it all down with cotton buds and pads and alcohol wipes and stuff like that, you're going to be there for quite a while. Just use a blower like this and uh, you can then go into more detail uh, with uh, the other types of cleaning products like microfiber cloths, they're essential because they don't have any lint on them and they're not going to put any sort of lint inside of the computer. You can remove the card after you've cleaned it and remove the dust. And it might be a teeny little bit of dust on there and you can get a microfiber cloth and clean it up. You can see it's removed all of the dust build up inside the fins inside here. And this is where the heat gets built up. So if it's an older card, take the card out and give it a good blowout. And of course, if the card is getting old, and it needs new compound you can strip that down and add new compound on it this is a relatively new card so i don't need to worry about that and it's in pretty good nick i just need to clean off all of the dust you'll probably see dust build up in other little areas like this little fan area here the chipset area here make sure that's all nice and clean you can see that's cleaned out here and again i'm going to remove the cpu heatsink and literally clean off all the old compound and put some nice fresh compound on there and some of the compound has started to dry out and that's quite common so you want to keep on top of these sort of things because this is what's going to make your temperatures rise you can see this is a six pipe cooler and uh, you want to really clean off any of the old thermal paste and reapply new thermal paste 
you can clean off any sort of thermal paste with isopropanol alcohol you can get this on amazon or any uh, sort of hardware store pretty cheap and you can see how good that blower has done on this uh, cooler here it's blown out all of the dust from inside the fins here and you can spend a bit more time going into a bit more uh, detail with deep cleaning if you wish but to be honest with you it's a pc at the end of the day and it's going to get dusty and dirty i've just cleaned this off down near this ventilation area here and used some cotton buds and some uh, pads with some alcohol on them you can buy the surgical pads with uh, alcohol already pregnated into the pad and then basically use those to clean up and that's what i use to clean all my fans and everything else and it should look something like this once it's all finished and uh, pretty straightforward and easy to do and isopropanol is pretty cheap as well and again that's it you can end up with final results looking like this with a very quick and easy cleanup no need to strip it all down and go into great uh, cleaning detail because at the end of the day it is a pc and it's going to get dusty again especially if it lives on the floor it's going to pick up a lot more dust and stuff like that so Try not to worry too much about every little bit of dust. you just got to get off the main majority of dust from inside the fan system and the CPU cooler. That's the most important part. And any sort of radiators that you have, make sure they're nice and clean and there's no dust build up or dust bunnies built up inside the fins and stuff like that. And you should be okay. And uh, if any fans that need replacing, you can oil fans and replace fans. If they need replacing, replace them. And pretty much you should get much more better temperatures. And I'll show you what we're going to be getting in temperature wise in a second. Once I get this back on the bench and we can take a look at the differences in temperatures. So let's take a look at the before and after temps after we've cleaned it all up, changed the thermal compound and make sure the uh, parts are still working OK, because there could be a faulty heat sink or something like that. So I'm just going to run this test again and we'll see what the temperatures get like. Uh, when it's doing its test so you can see here already there's a massive difference uh, it's already at 74 degrees celsius and that's a 20 degrees uh, celsius drop compared to what it was i think it was 90 odd which is pretty high i mean once you start getting towards 95 that's the thermal capacity for that cpu it will start thermal throttling and shutting down and that's not good so it was already getting close to that and you can see here there is quite a big drop and i'll tell you what the final end result is right now we'll see as it's coming to the end and it's 75.5 so you'll see by just blowing out the dust and changing the thermal compound it's give this hardware a new lease of life basically save the hardware from failing because that hot temperatures is not good for hardware anyway that's going to be about it i just want to say a big special thanks to all my youtube members who have joined my youtube members group i really do appreciate it my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video helps you out. I'll leave some links in the video description for you to pick up some of the stuff that might be useful to you. And I'll see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.